Hey everybody, so I'm back. I'm going to do a tag that Miss Dawn tagged me in. And, um, yeah, although I think she added a few things and I forgot to write those down, so I'm going to blah, 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 try to remember them all. And per everybody's request through my last video, don't worry, my channel's not going anywhere. So, I'm still here. It just was something that was going through my head. Um, but I'm staying. I enjoy my channel. <clears throat> so, um, and this light's going to drive me nuts. So, let's move out of there. I'm sorry, my lighting is horrible again, as always. So, and of course, I have the beautiful background. Hmm. Anyways, let's start this tag. This is the... You know what? I don't remember the name of this tag. I think it was like the best of 2013 and like the worst of 2013. Um, one thing, I love my beauty stuff. I don't really keep up with trends. I do my own thing. I'm kind of that oddball. I don't follow trends. I like my own quirky style. I mean, look at I got my little Winnie the Pooh sweater that my mommy just sent me. Thank you, mommy. Um, my crazy jewelry that, yeah. Anyways, so let's start this thing. I'm going to start with the best, and then I'm going to go into the worst. Uh, let's see here. Best foundation for 2013. Uh, for me, it started off with the... Revlon Age Defining, and then I bought the Revlon Photo Ready, and I fell in love. So I love those. Um, I use both of them still, and yeah, those are the ones that I think are the best. Uh, best concealer. Um, I started off this this year using um, the Sheer Cover, the Duo one that I got from the previous year. And then I kind of moved into using Physician's Formula, the double-ended sticks. I know everybody else says that the ones in the squeeze tubes are horrible and the other ones, but I really enjoy these two right here. My lids are broken and everything else, and these are my little babies. They get stuck in a little plastic baggie and put away. Uh, but it has a... Oh, it broke. Are you kidding me? Oh, well. Well, it has a stick part that is broken now. Hmm. How depressing. <sighs> oh well, I'll just have to keep wanting another one. And then it has a liquid part at the bottom, and then this one has um, the silver little balls, which I actually like. Yeah, I know Dawn did bring out everything, but I had to. Um, best pressed powder. I'm going to have to go with Physician's Formula. This lighting is going to kill me. Really. It really, really is. Why can... Um, anyways, I'm going to go with Physician's Formula. And then I recently just got from Dawn um, the Rimmel... Uh, the Rimmel Press... Like, translucent press powder. Really like that. Best BB Cream. Um, <laughs> that's a really hard one for me because I started off with... The, the Maybelline uh, Dream Fresh BB Cream, which was, well, actually, I started off with Garnier, but it can handle the smell. Um, but this one here I used, I'm almost out of it, so this will be an empty soon. And then I moved over to uh, Revlon's, and then I got the Pond's one from a swap that me and Dawn did, and I'm really liking the Photo Ready Revlon one, and I really enjoy the Pond's one also. So, those are kind of the, my best. I've, I've used them all, and I enjoy them all. Uh, let's see here. Best lipstick. I have to go with Rimmel. I am so enjoying my Rimmel. I'm enjoying the Rimmel, you know what, I don't even know, I think it's Cat Mom, uh, mm. the Rimmel and the Red, and then I got some other Rimmel ones, and they're just really creamy, really moisturizing, nice pigmentation, and they last, and then I, yeah, Rimmel, 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 let's see here, uh, Best 
eyeliner, liquid, or pencil. Okay, for pencil, it's Rimmel. They're creamy, they're smooth, they glide on perfectly. Love me some Rimmel. For liquid, I haven't tried any of the Rimmel liquid ones, but I love the Physician Formula, the thin one, and then they have a uh, thicker, chubbier, like, eyeliner, and I love that too. So, those are mine. Physician's Formula and Rimmel. Uh, let's see here. Uh, best Cosmetic Company for 2013. Revlon. I have a lot of Revlon. Although, you know what? I have a lot of Physician's Formula and I have a lot of... Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to say Physician's Formula and Rimmel because I've been using a lot of those two companies. Best new trend. You know what? I don't know. I don't know. Because I don't keep up with trends. I have my own trends. I'm that oddball. Hmm. Um, best nail polish company or color. Okay. Um, this is drugstore. Um, 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 um. I have I have a nail polish collection coming up too, so get ready for that one. Um, I don't know. Um, I like my Revlon. I love my Revlon. I love my Rimmel. I love. I'm gonna go with Revlon for drugstore. Yeah, and then she did a thing for high end too. I don't have a whole lot of high end products, but as far as nail polish goes best so far is um, the few Julep Maven ones that I have, or Julep. Those are my by far my absolute favorite. If I could own their whole thing and never own another nail polish, okay, that wouldn't happen because I like nail polish. Anyways, but I like Julep. And then for drugstore, it's going to be Revlon. Uh, let's see here. Best shampoo or conditioner? I absolutely love the L'Oreal Advanced Total Repair 5. This is just a conditioner. I'm almost out of it. And I like the repair, the erase balm and the shampoo. So, yeah, this mama is going to be hitting up a CVS at, or sale this weekend because um, I love it. My hair is soft and just really nice. Okay, let's see here. Uh, cleaning regimen. Okay, so I started off the year using Physician's Formula, loving it, uh, got pregnant, and it broke me out like mad, and so I haven't gone back to using it yet, so maybe I should try it, but I did really like the Physician's Formula, the uh, age-defining one, uh, but right now I'm enjoying the uh, Simple. Simple's really nice, it's and easy and great for the skin. Let's see here. To purchase cosmetics online or in store. Okay. Well, let's see here. Uh, in store. Um, hmm. Let me think. Where do I buy my cosmetics? Hmm. CVS. <laughs> Basically, the only place I go. I do hit up um, Walmart and. Walgreens on occasion, but mm, CVS is where I buy all my cosmetics for in person, in store, and online. Um, you know what? That's a toss up. Um, I don't order online too often, um, but when I do, I order from Ulta. But I have, I don't see. I don't know. That's a really tough one for me. I've I've only ordered from I've ordered from Ulta twice, and I've ordered from. Sephora once, but I mean, they both have really great sales going, so I only hit them up when they have sales. So, um, either Sephora or Ulta, I really couldn't just pick one. Sorry. Uh, let's see here. Best fragrance of 2013. Um, again, I don't really go buy um, perfumes or anything. Uh, my mom 
gives me some perfumes, and I fell in love with the Paris Hilton uh, Fairy Dust, and I don't even know, did I get that? I think I got that like two years ago, and I still use that. I love that fragrance. Um, as far as body mist or sprays go, I love my Twilight Woods from Bath & Body Works. My favorite. Mm, absolute favorite. Yep. Best lotion or body butter. Um, I did, I've never used a body butter. Should probably go buy one and try one. But for lotions, I will have to say, um, again, my Twilight Woods from Bath and Body Works. But if we're going like drugstore, CVS, Walmart, Walgreens, mm, I would have to say the Gold Bond medicated one. My kids have such dry skin and I love that. I've gotten plenty of lotions with coupons and you know, lowered them down and everything else and still I have to say the CVS or not well, Gold Bond medicated, the one in the green bottle that smells menthol-y, best lotion ever to keep your skin smooth, soft. Makeup removers. Okay. So I happen to like the Almay eye makeup removers. I love them. I have a stockpile of those. I think right now I have like four extras sitting. Um, but other than that, I really enjoy um, my simple wipes. I love the exfoliating ones. Yes, Dawn. I love those ones. <laughs> I know you despise them, but I love them. The exfoliating ones and the radiant ones. Oh, mm, mm, mm. they're awesome. Yeah. Okay, so bronzer. That's a toss-up for me right now because I love my physician's formula and I just grabbed a whole bunch of them with their 75% off sale, but I've been using them for a while. But I just recently, well, like three months ago now, I think, bought the Wet n Wild one. This one. And I have to say, I really like this one. It's really nice. It's matte, and I like it. So, Physicians Formula and um, Wet n Wild, those are my absolute favorite bronzers. <laughs> okay. Uh, eyeshadow. <laughs> okay, so eyeshadow, that's kind of, I don't know. Um, the beginning of the year I was using a lot of Profusion, and I don't even know where they went. I can't find my Profusion palettes, to be honest, and that's kind of funky for me, but, um, Profusion is a really nice company. Their eyeshadows are pigmented, and you can get a nice, I think it's got like 18 shadows in it or something, for like $1.99. Check them out. Um, you can get them at Walgreens. And um, actually, CVS this year, I just bought a little case thing uh, not too long ago, and it has a whole bunch of eyeshadows and glosses and everything, but... I like their eyeshadows. They're very pigmented for the price. Other than that, I think it was... What else did I use? Ooh. Wet n' Wild. I used a lot of Wet n' Wild palettes. And then, um, again, because I don't have a whole lot of high-end products, um, for high-end, I was using my Naked Basic palette and my Urban Decay Vice palette that I absolutely love. Okay, so we're going to do worst of some of these things, and the, let's go for it. I'm not going to have an answer for all of these either. Worst foundation, I have to say Wet n Wild. That was horrible. Oh my gosh. <sighs> I still have it because I'm trying to figure out how to use it without wasting it, but... Of 
worst concealer? You know what? I don't know. I didn't venture out of the ones that I like, so I couldn't tell you. Uh, worst pressed powder. Okay, that one, I have to say the Revlon Photo Ready Translucent Powder. Yeah. Um, I don't care how light I put that on. Maybe it was just the one I got. Um, I look white. Well, okay, I am white, but I mean, I, I, I looked pale. I looked so sick in it. And no, no, never again. Um, worst BB cream. Again, I don't know. I liked all the ones that I bought. Oh, mm. okay. I'm gonna have to go with my city colors. Um, and primarily only because the color, it felt nice and everything else, but there wasn't enough color even in the darkest one to match my skin tone. So it just, it didn't work for me at all. I mean, I had to add so much bronzer and everything else. I felt like a cakey mess. And I know you can't really buy city colors at the drugstore. Or can you? I don't. I don't, I've never seen it at a drugstore, but, um, <coughs> yeah, I'm going to have to say City Colors, and yes, I'm going to affiliate it with them, so, sorry, City Colors. Uh, worst lipstick. Well, well, uh, yeah. Well, well, their new, like, super moisturizing, whatever the heck they were, um, if I wanted lips down to here and up here, and yeah, those would have been great. If I wanted to look like a clown, which, yes, I know some of you are saying, hmm, I don't know, Heather, you wear some crazy colors. Okay, not that crazy. And I, other than my crazy video, I do keep my lipstick where it belongs. <laughs> okay. Um, worst cosmetic company. I'm going to have to go with Wet n Wild. I mean, there was many items I did like, but I'm going to have to go with Wet n Wild because there was quite a few items I didn't like. Mm, worst strength? Don't know. Don't keep up with them. Uh, worst nail polish? True color. True color. If you want me to not buy nail polish, set a bunch of true color nail polishes in front of me, and I won't touch them. I promise I won't. No. For me, base coat, top coat, whatever, them things chipped off the second they dried. Ugh, drove me nuts. We're shampoo and conditioner. I sadly, sadly, sadly have to say Herbal Essence, at least the two that I tried, and I had a whole bunch of them. Thankfully, I bought a whole bunch of different types, but no. It dried out my hair horribly. I might end up putting those in my box for donation. I just might. Um, you know what? Cleansing regimen. I don't have one because I only used two this year and I actually liked them both. Oh, hmm. Well, it's not, eh. it doesn't count on this because, well, it's not a drugstore brand, but I was sent a company, I was, I was sent by a company to do a review of their cleansing stuff, uh, Isabella Garcia, and you know when I first used it, when I first started using it, it was really nice. The more I used it, the more my 
face dried out and broke out. And yeah, and I don't even think, I don't even know if it was this year. Was it this year? I think so. Yeah, it was this year. This year. Blah, blah, blah. <sighs> I don't have a worse, like, makeup remover. Worst place to purchase cosmetics online. Hmm. Does Lavrocracy count? Since I've tried to order something there, I can't tell you how many times with my credit. And got an email saying that they no longer have this particular item at a certain place. Worst fragrance? Don't know. Didn't really try any other fragrances other than the ones that I liked. I know. Maybe I'll venture out more this year onto fragrances. Worst lotion? I, I'm sorry. I have to go with Vaseline. I don't like that lotion. I know a lot of people do. I don't. I don't care to feel like a grease ball. I want my skin hydrated. Don't want to feel like I'm could be my own slip and slide if I fell down. Worst bronzer? Don't know. Didn't venture out of my comfort zone. And worst eyeshadow. I'm going to have to say some of the e.l.f. stuff. But I didn't buy any this year. That's when I started with my on my channel two years ago. And I... Um, I love my little clutch, but a lot of the other stuff I got really didn't work, so maybe I should try some of their new stuff, and we'll see. But, that was my tag. Um, I'm gonna tag, uh, no, I can't think. Help Me Beauty. Yes, Grace, I'm gonna tag you, because I'm gonna be doing your tag next. I'm kind of scared. And, um... You know, I don't know who else I'm going to tag because I think Dawn tagged everybody else. So, yeah. Look down below. You'll see who I tag. All right, everybody. Talk to you soon. Bye.